I just woke up from a nap. Well, I guess I better start at the beginning. <clears throat> My name is Jim Howard. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today is May 16th of 2017. I am a very liberal Democrat. Proud of it. Uh, I've been trying not to It's difficult, but I've been trying not to do too much political commenting on here on YouTube uh, because I'm a bit well. I probably did more if you go further back, uh, but the situation has become so toxic, so so bad, so unbelievable that I've tried not I've tried to avoid it recently as much as I could but occasionally something happens that I just feel like I need to say something get it off my chest get it off my big fat tummy and away from my boobs that are growing at my age anyway I uh just woke up from a nap and I just walked over to get the mail from the mailbox and I came back and I I check CNN often during the day to see what's what's going on and this is what I saw I haven't looked any further than this except I did just before I started this video I did go over to the Huffington Post and this is this is the uh, headlines then I went to uh, redstate.com which is a right wing hate site uh, no mention here oh ok here it is I didn't see it before breaking James Comney memo says Trump asked him to stop the Flynn investigation I'm not sure that was there before maybe it was I might have just missed it uh then I went to Fox News. The Fox News headline is Comney's Revenge? Question mark. White House pushes back on report Trump asked F ex FBI boss to end the Flynn probe. So I mean this is so the the I haven't read any of this, just the headlines. Comedy, comedy memo Trump asked me to end the Flynn investigation down here it says uh, sources Trump asked others to leave the office before asking the FBI director to let this go ah uh. That's that's it. I this is staggering, really staggering. That I, okay. I guess first of all, who do you believe, the president of the United States, Donald Trump, or the man who was uh, the director of the FBI? I don't think it's just because that I'm a liberal Democrat, but Donald Trump is a liar. He lies every day. Uh, you can't believe one word that he says about anything. He also is so unbelievably stupid. I cannot believe how stupid he is that he has, what well, he's just been in office for a little bit over a hundred a hundred days and 
the way things have gone, the things that he has done, the way he has done everything, it's just just unbelievable. I mean, every day. Uh, so I don't think there's any question about but of course it, it needs to be investigated. Uh, I don't see that the Republicans now have any choice. The House... Well, both the House and the Senate need to begin investigations and call people in under oath to testify and give information. I, do, I really don't see any, once of course they need to start an investigation, but I don't see that they have any choice but to impeach the President of the United States. The House has to do that and the Democrats don't have enough members in the House to do it. It's going to have to be the Republicans impeaching a Republican president. Uh, the members of the House are going to have to man up, be patriotic, uh, honor the oath that they swore to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, they're going to have to forget about what maybe their constituents back in their small districts are going to do. They're going to have to, you know, they're going to just have to say, I'm going to do my constitutional duties and they're going to have to move to impeach, you know, the President of the United States. It's going to be difficult for them because back in their districts they may have that small, hardcore people who believe everything that Donald Trump says and that uh, think that all this information about him is all fake news and a, a plot by Hillary Clinton to remove him from office. And I was just going to blog yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, and then I didn't I didn't do it. I was going to blog on my blog. wasn't going to put it on YouTube, I don't think. I was going to blog that I thought that the Vice President Pence, he needed to totally isolate himself from the President. He needed to go to the Senate and just be unavailable to the President. He needed to put up a buffer and... Uh, get away from him because if he becomes tainted by this and we don't know what's been going on you know with with Donald Trump and with uh, uh, I mean I I'm not a fan of Pence although anybody oh my god you know anybody is is better than Donald Trump uh, but if the vice president has somehow been sucked into all of this and is involved somehow, then the Republicans are not, although the Speaker of the House, who is a Republican, Paul Ryan, would move up to be the president of the United States, that would he would be a Republican, but still, uh, and I think the Republicans, uh, really the uh, vast majority would prefer Pence. And Pence, you know, he's not somebody that I would want as a Democrat, but uh, he is, I think, an honorable man. I think he's uh, a smart man. I think he's clever, and he knows how the government works, and he... He understands he's not going to, I mean, he's he's not Donald Trump. And we definitely need Donald Trump out of office. He should never have been elected. Republicans should never have picked him as their candidate. Uh, he needs to be removed. He's committed obstruction of justice. And who knows what else? Treason, if, he, if the Russian all this Russian stuff is, is true. 
and a bunch of other people apparently around him also have been involved in this. Uh, but I don't think I. I I find it really hard to believe that I find it hard to believe that the Republican House members are going to remove a Republican. They're going to impeach a Republican. Of course, they are just the ones who say this man needs to be the Senate needs to uh remove him from office. The Senate has to vote to remove him from office. But if if, if Pence somehow, the, their vice presidential candidate, has somehow got involved in this, they're really going to be, what are they going to, you know, what are they going to do? They should do the right thing no matter what, but would they? I don't know. What I was going to blog about yesterday was that Mike Pence needed to remove himself, get away from this, and uh, that the Democrats somehow at some point needed to go and make it plain and clear that if this came to impeachment of President Donald Trump, that Pence would not be involved if, if uh, that the Democrats were not going after him, that if somehow he had uh, inadvertently or got sucked into something that was going to be, you know, that's going to be over with and they needed to take, and, but then that's one reason I didn't blog about it because I thought, oh, that is just so... But I uh, mentioned to Darlene that I was going to blog about that. I, I gave the, that I was going to blog about the uh, vice president separating himself and from the president, and just and that Donald Trump would go, you know. He would go fucking crazy. He would go. I don't know. He would probably have, have a stroke, and that would solve the problem. If it was a fatal stroke, uh, if he was just incapacitated in some way, the Republicans might just say, "Ah, oh, well, you know, he's got half a brain, which should, you do. Well, it wouldn't actually be half a brain because he didn't have a full brain." But my ex-wife Darlene, she said, "Well." He, he couldn't isolate himself from the president. The president would order him to do such and such. And I said, uh, no, the, the president really cannot order the vice president to do anything. And she said, well, uh, Donald Trump would fire him. And I said, no, the president of the United States cannot fire the vice president. So... Anyway, I'm I'm really shocked. I mean, I was around for the Watergate investigation or for the Watergate, the entire Watergate thing, and I was around for the assassination of John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert Kennedy. I've seen a lot of things, but. This is, every day here has been, it's scary, it's actually scary, uh, because Donald Trump is so stupid, and because the things he says, the things, you know, that the Constitution gets in his, he said that the Constitution got in his way to doing his job as president, you know. I mean, everything. Um, and now we have this. So I don't see how the you know the Republicans were dragging their feet about invest doing an investigation. Really, they I mean they didn't want to do an investigation. I don't see now how they can't appoint a. I think they'll have to appoint a special prosecutor, 
and two, picking a... Trump has been going through, apparently, the last few days. I saw uh, the news mentioned a few names uh, that he was going to pick uh, a new director of the FBI. Uh, of course, it has to be approved by the the Senate. And, I mean, he positively cannot be allowed to pick anybody that he wants and whoever they pick as director of the FBI has to be a man of integrity a man of uh, I don't know it should be the Republicans should actually, they should pick a Democrat, but they should pick, well, I, I just hate it that we pick Democrats or Republicans for cabinets or anything else. But in this case, they should find the most, if they could, they should find somebody that's not into politics at all, but that's probably impossible to do. But they should find some Democrat, I guess a federal judge or a federal prosecutor who is beyond reproach, who is, I don't know, this is a, you know, what is, what is President Trump going to do now? I, I really don't know. Uh, the man is, well, he... God forbid, will, will he do something, create some type of a crisis in order to get the people to rally to him? Uh, will he try to uh, create a situation? I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll read... Uh, I guess I'll read the the information. Let's see, what time is it? 7.23. I can go to now YouTube and pull up the uh, PBS NewsHour. But I'm not sure when this... This happened sometime when I was... And I don't sleep very long. I, I'm an old man, got a, a large prostate, have to get up every fucking couple of hours to take a pee. So I'm not sure if this made it in time for the CBS or the uh, I think actually I have a link for that. Not just going to there and, and searching for it. I think I have someplace under here. Let's see. Movies, Hulu, KERA. No, I don't. So, okay, I am. I'm going to mark this, of course, not to be monetized. So you're not going to see any. I'm not trying to make any money off of uh, off of this video. A bunch of my videos are marked uh, where I'm not where they're not monetized. Uh, If you want to make comments uh, underneath, I welcome them. Please try to be... Don't be fucking crazy, you know what I mean? Try to... If you're a Donald Trump supporter, fine. Uh, just please don't be stupid. I mean, try to be... Try to use the few brain cells that you have. Uh, President Obama was not... Uh, born in Africa Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton haven't committed any crimes never have committed any crimes are they milking the system are they bending are they uh, collecting money and donations and doing stuff to yes they're uh, would I do the, the, what they're doing no I have a more higher moral standard 
But are they breaking any, have they broken any laws? No. Uh, Benghazi was nothing. I mean, we lost, but was not, Hillary Clinton was not responsible and uh, so if you want to leave a comment, if you leave some fucking crazy shit, uh, I, I've been, I've had site online since 1982 and I almost never, years and years have gone by, I've never blocked anybody's comments. Uh, but in this, right now, today, if you leave some crazy fucking shit, I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to delete you, so far as I'm concerned. Yes, I know, you can log back in with a different username, or whatever, and I'll fucking delete that, and I'll just keep deleting that. If a whole bunch of you want to leave a bunch of crazy crap on here, I will just turn off commenting. Maybe I should do that anyway. But I'm going to leave commenting open. Tell me what you think. If uh, Do you think that Comney is lying? That's okay. If you, you think he's lying? <laughs> I don't. The man has been a man of integrity. Everybody agreed he was a man of integrity. May have made some mistakes here in the last few months or whatever. Trying, I think he was actually trying to be a man of integrity and do the right thing and protect the, you know, the FBI or whatever. And I think he probably made some things, stupid things, that decisions that he made. Uh, but he's been a man of integrity, and I think everybody agreed before this election cycle that uh, that he was. Donald Trump has been a clown and an idiot and he proved that during the election he had, every word out of his mouth has been unbelievable and stupid and yet Republicans elected him. They picked him for their candidate and then they elected him and I think his largest uh, block of voters I believe were conservative fundamentalist Christians uh, that was his and those are good decent people but how could they vote for how could they vote for a man like Donald Trump with I have a small hand by the way how could they how could they vote for him I mean okay you hate I which I never understood you hate Bill Clinton and you hate Hillary Clinton with a passion I never could really understand it. Now, did I want, by the way, did I want Hillary Clinton as a Democratic candidate? No. Did I vote for Hillary Clinton? Yes, I had no choice. I would have rather have voted for uh, Bernie, whatever his name is, or uh, Elizabeth Warren. I would have pick just about any Democrat over Hillary Clinton. But I sure, I sure, even if I were a one subject, you know, if, if I had one, if I were gun, you know, if all I thought about was guns every minute, guns, guns, oh, they're so beautiful. Ooh, six hard inches of steel. Oh, an automatic. No matter what you think, if if even if I were if got you know, uh, Obama tried to take our guns away. No. He was in office for eight years. He didn't try to take your guns away one time. Bill Clinton. Oh, tried to ban our guns. No, I I just happened to be in a gun show 
on the day that the ban for assault weapons went into effect. I was there in the gun show. Just happened to be, I've only been to a gun show a couple times in my life. I just happened to be there. His his ban was ridiculous. It was nothing. I forget what it, I forget now what it was. Oh, an assault rifle or if, if a weapon has a bayonet lug on it and has a flash hider on it, then it's an assault rifle and it can't be sold. And I forget what the other thing... Well, the, the thing on the clips over 10 rounds or uh, whatever that was, that was that was a good, a good thing, was a needed thing because you don't need people going into schools and churches with rounds that, with assault rifles and don't fucking leave a comment about, well, that's not an assault. I don't fucking care. I used to be a member of the NRA. I used to own some rifles, never owned an assault rifle. I carried a weapon on duty for 30 fucking years. I don't want to fucking hear your stupidity about when something happens in a school and little children are slaughtered and the news media reports or whatever. Well, the an assault rifle. I don't want to hear your fucking comment that that's not an assault rifle. An assault rifle has... Fuck you. I don't want to fucking hear that. Okay. Back to the subject. I've said enough. What a fucking mess the Republican Party put us into. He was your candidate. You had other people up there. Part of the problem, by the way, is what's the name of the ruling? I never can fucking remember it. I don't have to worry about this being banned on YouTube because of the language because I'm going to, of course, not monetize it. So I don't have, I can use the language I want to use and make the comments I want to make. Uh... Your constitutional amendment that the Republicans love so much gives them an erection that corporations have the legal right of citizens of free speech, that a corporation has it, that a corporation is a person and it can donate and give all the money it wants to and to somebody running for office. There was a law, and John McCain, and I forget who the Democrat was, co-sponsored a law that was in effect that tried to restrain a little bit the the obscenity of this money coming in to bribe senators and, and uh, congressmen. And that ruling by the Supreme Court just killed that. But the and Republicans embraces this this concept that, and this Supreme Court ruling that corporations are people. And that's what, you know, that's, and the Republicans always do that. They embrace some cause and it comes back and fucks them in the ass every fucking time and they don't understand it. The reason you had the Republicans up there for the election at the debates and you had some of these people up there like the governor former governor of Texas I'm in Texas by the way was because those people could get funding from one person or two or three people who had money otherwise they wouldn't have been up there and then you would have had only candidates up there who really had a background and were really competent people, you would have eliminated those. Then when the voting was being done, the primary voting or whatever, you wouldn't have had Donald Trump picking up a little, you know, and these other votes being all spread out. You know, you wouldn't have had, well, Donald Trump could have afforded, I guess. We don't know how much money he has. We've never seen his tax returns. We know he lies about everything, but maybe he could have come up with the money to be there. But others wouldn't. Perry from Texas, former governor of Texas, he wouldn't have been up there. After he left office here in Texas, 
It really was. I was surprised. It really wasn't that popular among Republican Texas voters or whatever. So what you would have had is you wouldn't have had the vote spread that you would have with all the Republican people up there uh, for the debates. And so this guy's getting 6%, and this guy's getting 3%, and this guy's getting 5%, and this guy's getting 20%, and I, and uh, and uh, Donald Trump gets uh, 18%, and then somebody drops out, you know, from the thing, and Trump gets a few more percent and somebody else, but then that another person has to drop, you know, you would have had... So the Republicans need to need to clean up the shit that they've created. The situation that we now have, they need to be statesmen. They need to serve their nation. They need to remember the oath they took to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. They need to clean up the mess that we have now, the mess being Donald Trump. And then they need to change the way which they're allowed to do. The Democrats did it in the past. They need to change their, the Republicans, and I don't think the Democrats even would bother to put that in their platform or whatever that their candidate has to release his tax returns. Maybe it was in there, but the Republicans need to put in, in there, you know, you can't be a candidate for office for whatever, you know, President of the United States, Vice President, Senate, I don't know, whatever, unless you release your tax returns. And they need to take other steps. They need to look at this and not try to screw, prevent people from voting. They need to not try to do away with Americans not having health care. They need to be they're the majority party now, but even when they are the minority party, they need to be a loyal minority party. They actually need to think about the American people. They actually need to think about the United States. Just think what the Republicans have done. For eight years of Obama, they did everything they could to make sure that Obama was not successful. They wanted him to not succeed at anything. And they spent eight years doing everything they could to sabotage him. When you think of the President of the United States, you're going to sabotage the President of the United States, you're sabotaging the American people and the United States of America. I know that's not the definition of treason, but when you do something like what the Republicans did, I'm going to use the word treason. I think we had eight years of treason compounded by this. So now I think the time for the Republicans, and it's up to them, that fucking Democrats can't do it. Fucking Democrats are a bunch of losers. They can't do it. We have a Republican president. We have the House of Representatives is controlled by the Republicans. The Senate is controlled by the Republicans. It's now time for some profiles in courage. Some profiles in courage. We need the Republicans to stand up, be counted, be men. God damn.